Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you three different ways to make cute little teddy bears starting first with this simple washcloth moving into a red fleece and finally ending off with a crocheted bear that I actually lost a lot of my footage for. So let's start off with this washcloth teddy bear. Uh, all you're going to want to do is start rolling it up from one side. Try to go as tightly as you can, that'll make the bear look better in my experience. Once you have it all the way to that center line, flip it around and start rolling it inward from the other side again. Once you have it centered here, all you have to do is fold it in half, just like this, so that both the rolls are facing outward, and pick a side to be your front. Roll out just the front portion of those rolls to kind of reveal a center section and two loops on either side. And here is where we start seeing the bear take shape. And I know you're probably like, um, I don't really see how or where, but uh, those little loops on the edges there are actually going to turn into the arms and the ears. The only other thing you need to make these cute little washcloth bears, which I think would be super great, um, like baby shower gifts, are these clear elastics. You can get these in a pack of a hundred for a dollar from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just wrapping that around the center of the neck here and you can definitely see the bear starting to take shape. This little center portion here is our face that I'm touching right now and here are going to be the ears and you'll only need two more elastics for a total of three clear elastics uh, that we're going to wrap around these ears here to create a more defined ear shape. And I'm just going to wrap these around. And kind of nip and tuck a little bit just to kind of give it the shape that I want and all that's left to do is to add on a face uh, you can use fabric markers for this or felt um, I still plan to use this washcloth actually so I'm not going crazy with any gluing or anything but uh, I think this works really really cute and a really easy way to kind of do something fun with kids or once again kind of have little shower gifts if you maybe have a baby shower coming up for relatively inexpensive so now that we've done that, we're going to move on to the felt. This red felt here is actually, not felt, it's a fleece actually. Um, I had this left over from my Vulpix onesie that I did years and years and years ago. I want to say that was like 2016 that I did that. Um, but basically I'm going to show you uh, with this fleece here um, how I'm going to make a bear. And you're actually going to follow these same steps using panels of crocheted or knitted fabric to make the crocheted or knitted bear. They're actually the same process, just using different materials. So here to kind of make this bear head shape, I'm using this hot fabric glue that I've tested in a previous video uh, to glue together and create this like tube shape. Um, if you're doing this with uh, crocheted or knitted fabric, all you have to do is tighten the top into a loop. Um, just stitch all the way around the outside and pull tight to kind of create that loop. Obviously for the fleece, it doesn't automatically create that shape, so we had to kind of artificially create it by adding this rounded top. And once you flip it inside out and push everything around, uh, you'll end up having that kind of rounded test tube shape that we want. It might require a little bit of extra pushing, prodding, and gluing to get to that final result, but in the end, uh, it did end up looking pretty decent. Obviously, stitching would also make this better, um, but a couple of extra glue dots ended up making this passable. If you aren't sure how to close up a hole in the paneled or knitted fabric, you can actually check out this video here where I kind of made a tiny little baby hat with a knitting machine. Um, it was really cool. Um, unfortunately, the knitting machine would not work with the super thick fabric that I had planned for this uh, crocheted bear, so um, I didn't end up using it. But all you'll need outside of that single tube there is you're actually going to create two tinier test tube shapes for the arms and legs and this uh, half circle shape for the ears. You're going to want to make the ears a lot bigger than you expect them to be on the bear. Uh, this is because we're turning it inside out. So I made these really, really big, like probably twice the size I wanted ears and stuck them together. And once that glue is dry, this takes about 30 to 60 seconds to dry from the hot glue, the hot fabric glue. Uh, and you'll just flip it inside out. I start to here and then realize it's definitely not dry yet. So I'm sticking it together a little bit better, but you can definitely see the size difference once it's flipped inside out. 
once you have all the pieces together, and you can actually see in the little corner here how I have my uh, crocheted bear pieces kind of coming together. Um, but once again, these processes are exactly the same, just with different materials. Um, I'm stuffing them. I ended up stuffing all of my crocheted bear as well as my fleece bear here. And make sure that it's at the right kind of fluffiness. Make sure that there's enough uh, for what you want to do here. Basically, what we're going to be doing is using a ribbon to tie a defining neck, I suppose, between the body shape and the head. So here I am stuffing all the arms, making sure that they're consistent all the way through. And now I'm going to show you how to create uh, the flat bottom for this bear so that it can sit up. Basically, you're going to be folding it kind of like a gift box. Um, so you're going to fold one of the longer sides in and the other long side on top of it. And I'm only going to be gluing three different places here. So I have that front one that's kind of more toward you facing in and I flipped the back one over top of it with a line of glue to kind of create this flat shape at the bottom. Now of course we have these two little um, tabs at the end here. All you're going to do is fold those in, add a dot of glue underneath each of those points, and it should stand up. Just making sure it's nice and good and here we can see that it sits up nice and easy. Just cleaning up my workstation a little bit. As everything's drying, I'm thinking it's pretty good. At this point in the crocheted bear, you just close up the bottom portion much like you did on the top. Now here I am taking just a little gold ribbon and I am deciding actually which side I want to be the front. I actually ended up deciding after I flipped it over that I wanted this back side to be the front side and flipped it back around. So I'm going about, I want to say one third of the way from the top, and that way the head is about half the size of the body. I'm deciding where I want that neck to be, and I'm just going to tighten the ribbon as much as I can until I can see my bear's head and body starting to take form, and I'm just going to tie this into an attractive bow. Something else I forgot to mention a little earlier, if you don't like the idea of using the um, elastic ties on the washcloth bear, you can also use some ribbon there if you wanted to kind of jazz it up and give him a little bit of a more uh, cute kind of put together feel. I think the ribbon's a really easy way to kind of create those shapes and still use these really easy like rounded rectangular shapes for uh, the bears otherwise. Now I'm actually going to use that same process that I did at the bottom of the bear onto my little arms here. Um, for this demonstration here, I only gave the fleece bear arms. I didn't give him legs. I didn't think they were necessary. Um, and once I have everything closed up, it's just a matter of assembly. I am just once again using some hot fabric glue here. Um, you can obviously stitch this on if you think that's better for you, but I wanted this to be nice and easy just to kind of quickly demonstrate how to make the pieces from simple uh, knitted paneling. Sticking everything on and here is the final product. Um, obviously once again, uh, you can add legs to this so that he sit, uh, sits up a little bit easier. He doesn't always stand up on his own. He's a little front heavy. Sometimes he'll fall over. Sometimes he'll sit up just fine. It kind of depends. Um, but I think this is a really cute bear. You can add eyes and a mouth with either some felt pieces or beads or even just some fabric markers, whatever you think is best. And this right here is the crocheted version. Once again, I just used those same like uh, looped pieces, just kind of stitch them together on the sides or you can use fabric glue uh, to kind of create those loops, closed off the edges, filled it, and stuck them together. And I think this is a way more attractive bear. I've actually given out some crocheted bears that I've made before as like baby shower gifts um, and again added little faces to the front and whatnot. I love the way that these little crocheted guys turn out. They're soft, they're fuzzy, and they're just super cute. I also feel like the yarn is a little bit more forgiving than the fleece, but either way, I think both of these are really cute ideas, um, either for making a, a cute little gift for uh, a friend of yours or using it as some sort of symbolic gift for someone or some sort of occasion. Uh, and with the ability to make it with fabric, you can make it for all sorts of occasions. I think all of these bears have their merit. I think some of them have 
maybe more practical uses than others, but overall I think they're all super cute. Thank you so much for coming and crafting with me this week, and if you like what you saw, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you next week on Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time for another video. Bye!